Good morning, first grade friends. This is the extension to lesson seven. Um, because of time limits, I only have 10 minutes to be able to do a story for you. So today we are going to be looking at both of those stories you've listened to. That would be Goldilocks and the Three Bears and Goldie. <coughs> so today we're going to be looking and answering some questions about the differences between our characters. That would be contrasting them. Number one, how did each of the girls happen upon the bears' homes? That means how did they get to the bears' homes? About in Goldilocks, remember she was walking there and she went into the house. In the story Goldie, Goldie got off at the wrong bus stop and she was sad and she happened to go to the end of the lane where she got into the bear's house. Where are the bear's homes located in each of the stories? Well, that was kind of answered in question one. In Goldilocks and the Three Bears, the, their house was in the woods, but in Goldie, it was at the end of the lane. Number three, what did each of the girls do when they arrived at the bears' homes? Remember in Goldilocks and the Three Bears, Gold, Goldilocks went into the story or into the house and tried the porridge first. But in the story Goldie, she didn't find porridge. She found sandwiches to try. Number four, what did each of the girls eat at the bears' homes? Again, Goldilocks ate porridge. Goldie ate a sandwich, a peanut butter sandwich with chunks on white bread, no jelly, with the crust cut off. What did each of the girls do when they saw the bears? Remembering Goldilocks and the three bears, the Goldilocks hair stood all the way on its end. She was so scared and in Goldie, she sat in the bed and the bear, baby bear, jumped on the bed. And you remember they started bouncing and they were actually having some fun. Where did each of the girls sit at the bear's homes? Remember, they were both in baby bear's chair. So that would be something that would be alike. So we would be comparing that. And where did each of the girls sleep in the bear's homes? They slept in baby, she slept in baby bear's bed, okay? Because she found baby bear's bed was the most comfortable to sleep in. So friends, just as a recap on what we've been talking about the last few days, we've been talking about comparing and contrasting. We can compare, we can find the same thing about characters, we can also find the differences about characters, and that would mean their character traits. What are they like? Um, we also then talked today about the events in the stories. In the story, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and Goldie and the Three Bears, the events were a little bit different, like how um, they found the bear's house, um, how uh, what they ate in the bear's house. Okay, and so we have compare and contrast in a lot of different stories, and sometimes we can compare and contrast in stories that are very similar titles, like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, or Goldie and the Three Bears. So I hope you've enjoyed what we've talked about, and again, it's something for you to try to do in your stories. I know some of you are reading some Magic Treehouse stories, and some of the things in those stories that happen that are the same. So you'd be comparing those things, but the story itself and where the characters go to in each of those stories is something different. So you would be able to contrast that. So friends, a riddle for today. Uh, what kind of birds always stay together? That would be Velcros. Remember, riddles are usually plays on words. Crows, only Velcros stick together. Hey friends, have a great day. I'll see you again tomorrow.